Hey y'all, how are y'all doing? Welcome back to Let's Play Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare on the Mysterious JG. So, the last time I played this game was really the first time I played this game. I had like one big recording session. By the end of it, I was getting really frustrated. Um, and now I'm back, because I need to get some more of this game recorded. Uh, basically before Thanksgiving, so that I can take a pretty much a whole week to go home for Thanksgiving and have content for my channel. Um... Thing is, I um, started recording this game as a Halloween special, trying to rush in the Halloween season. Um, a new Let's Play, uh, I think the timing is a new Let's Play just started yesterday. Uh, for those of you watching this as it goes up, it might be a new Let's Play starts tomorrow. But either way, it's a Let's Play I started recording before this one. Got about six or seven videos in and then started thinking out loud during the recording sessions for that game. Oh, I better do Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare first so it can be a Halloween special. So, as you get six or seven episodes into the new Let's Play that's starting, I might be talking about how I'm going to finish this game before I play that game, and obviously that has not come to pass. Instead, it, that other series will be replacing Street Fighter V. But, um, none of that matters. Let's go check out Ridgewood Farm. Uh, last time I, uh, kept, I encountered a guy who wanted us to help with, um, killing uh zombies and um it's like he just has this whole camp by the side of the road where he's doing experiments on zombies and that's where i got frustrated and uh i'm not gonna go seeking that guy out if he shows up again maybe i'll try to do that quest maybe i won't i'm not gonna worry about it too much i was also getting myself all bent out of shape um learning the various ways to fail the you need to get a certain number of headshots in a row against zombies Greetings. because one of the things I found out is that uh, it's not it's not yeah, they're really mad I knocked over a pot or something it's the zombie apocalypse guys focus on what matters but um yeah I found out that oh it's not just that f like you have to sh like bleh. it's not just a matter of when you're shooting make sure that you shoot Um, and always do headshots. It's like you have to shoot. You have to do headshots. You can't kill anything with melee. That includes the melee that you do using your gun to blast something's head off as a melee type attack where you just like auto grapple and shoot them through the head. Yeah, so like it's much easier to interrupt your count than I realized it was and it just became frustrating. See if we can help this guy out. Oh, never mind. He offed himself. So that didn't work out in a useful way at all. And now, what the hell? I keep... It keeps centering my camera on them rather than letting me just run. Yeah, this is, uh... I haven't played in a while, and I guess I've forgotten the mechanics. Yeah, that didn't work out well at all. Oh well. As long as they don't kill you, you're fine. It's, you just get away from them for a few seconds. This is also my first play session uh, since I started really having trouble with my hands, so bear with me. But, um. Yeah, I guess when, when they already have, like, dot. Like, I don't know if it's possible to save those guys or not. Every time we've had these, like, little things like that, I've never saved them in time. Even when it seems like there was plenty of time, and I thought I did save them in time. Let's go. I'm not going to stop to pick that plant. I'm not sure what plants do in this game.
Maybe I shouldn't be using the torch. Maybe that's attracting their attention. I really don't know. I mean, riding around at speed in the middle of the night is probably not a good idea anyway. Old Fellow's Rest. Or Odd Fellow's Rest. Could be an odd old fellow. Could be unusual that a fellow that odd got old. But yeah, I was enjoying the game for the first several videos, and then I had like two videos where they're just getting really frustrated and decided to stop before I could grow to really dislike the game. Um, why the hell couldn't I get over the fence? I didn't do anything different from what I did before when it wouldn't let me over. I'm just getting completely stuck all the time. I might not really be up for this game, actually. Okay, there's a... I figured there'd be a ladder. Well, I'm trying to get to the fucking ladder! Now there's too many enemies in here for me to get to the ladder. Uh, bullshit? I'm calling bullshit. Like, I don't... The game isn't really built for melee mechanics. Okay, what? Thank you. Hi, friend. Well, it does... That Your bullet count is going to go down as you shoot more, I would think. I got a decent stock of repeater ammo. Fatty? Oh, that's unkind, Marston. Money for nothing and your chicks for free. It's okay. I didn't have much use for books either. What's the point of fighting when the other guy's already dead? That's a good question, friend. Fuck! I blame my hands, except that I've been having, having trouble with the game before that, even. But there goes my uh, headshots combo. Then again, considering how terrible the rewards are so far for completing those challenges, probably shouldn't be worrying about it that much. Oh, I guess that didn't count. Yeah, I guess that didn't count, so I just uh, messed up my combo again.
Well, I don't know if they're wrong. Uh, it's Huggy Four Brains because doesn't have brains, friend. Beast mutant. Beastie boars. Well, I don't want to blow it now. Despite having made no progress towards my awesome uh, headshot trophy. Because Moby's doesn't make sense. Oh, I love it when you guys explode. Oh, come on. S stand still for a second. Ugh. Come on, explode a body part for me. Hey, Mr. Tambourine Man. Explode a bug. Damn it. I I actually literally my thumb came off of the controller there. I got a brand new rifle though. And a whole pile of ammo. Cowabunga. Guy's just gonna hang out up there forever, huh? Well, that's... I suppose I couldn't blame him if I were in this situation in real life. Being, um, not in a big hurry to get back down. I'm getting a lot of... was getting a lot of rifle ammo. Got a little bit of pistol ammo. Shotgun ammo. It's the repeater that I've been using recently. But pretty much I've been using the repeater because uh, that's what I had ammo for. Alright, so let's go find... Uh, you seem to be the only survivor of this place. Oh, there's treasure chests I should have been looking for. Because of course there's more to this place than just that one little zone. I don't remember it, but there's probably a story mission involving a house with uh, that's bu built up this much in the original RDR. Here we go. Nine shotgun ammo. That's a pretty good. That's a spicy meatball. Uh, this thing must be either upstairs or. Sometimes there's a storm shell cellar, or it's just on an outside wall. Oh, no, never mind. That's not a treasure chest. That's the safe spot. Yeah, so I got uh, all into westerns uh, after uh, playing Red Dead Redemption 2, and I've read Lonesome Dove in the meantime. Um, yeah, it took me a little while to get into it, but it's a good book. Um, not the most cheerful story ever told. Don't get attached to any one character, because, uh, there's a whole lot of them ain't gonna be there at the end. But, uh, it was a good story. So I will save my game. I'll put two cards face down in the graveyard, and I'm my turn. Mm 
mobsters? Yeah, I guess it is pretty rough, but, um... Stick with it, guy. Come on. Yeah, not really sure what any of the uh, cowboys uh, are... What kind of plans any of them have for how to make a make a living in this uh, post-apocalyptic world, but um, it really does feel like uh, we've hit all the towns. Don't know of any other places to go out here, and I don't think we can get to Mexico yet, because it just looks like there's a big river of blood. But uh, one of our plot missions is at Fort Mercer. One of the most important locations we have yet to visit. So let's get down there. Yeah, me got you. Me Gaio. On the bio. It does seem like it would be a little safer to travel during the day, doesn't it? Like at night, you'd pretty much want to just get to the top of a barn, maybe light a couple fires around the place, and, um, yeah. There's somebody laughing, like, in despair, and there's no little blue icon on the map, and that's what indicates to me that you need to stop and talk to someone. Oh, wait, why in the world did I... Oh, whatever. I should have noticed earlier than I did that this path was circling back. And again, I'm having I'm having some trouble with my hands, guys. If you don't know what's going on there, check out the Mysterious GG Health videos, because I feel like in every series I've complained about it. Ah, the hell is it? It's neuropathy. It is a, uh, it's a word you can Google. Oh, well, I got a... I got a town other than uh, Fort Mercer I can uh, liberate first. I guess I didn't quite get into a position where I could see everything in this zone. And there's lots of little places that I didn't think of as towns in Red Dead Redemption because they only had like one. Like you could rent a bed, but they only had like one activity like horse breaking or... Uh, there was that place in Mexico. There was a big plot mission where you kill a million dudes to get there. And it was like a fort held up and by the army, but then after that it just becomes a place where you can play um, Five Finger Filet. Are you going to knock me off my horse? Oh, this is not good. Or fire. Still, we tried. We we came and checked to see what was wrong with her, even though we kind of knew. Ah, oh, war horse. I'm glad that you were able to watch me murder that woman. She could have been, we could have at least let her wander around and be a zombie for a while. But I don't know what her deal was. She, she apparently fought it off longer than... Abigail or uh, Jack were able to because they pretty much went zombie right away <laughs> when they got bit. Repentance rocks. We can all repent for the horrible sins man committed to unleash the zombie apocalypse. Save the town before starting continuing a survivor mission located here. Okay. So there's a special survivor mission here, but I have to save the town first. Got it. Okay, well, I'd like to help, but I can't figure out a safe way to get over here.
This is uh, pretty far up to be shooting these guys. Man, if you guys had like a f supply of farm... If you guys had a farm up here, you would be in great shape. I thought I was going to fall to my death there. See, I don't know how much sniper rifle ammo I had. Yeah, that's right, good man. Gotta help each other, friend. I can't let you off. Oh, it's trying to I was trying to hit a button that doesn't exist on this controller. Yeah, you know, I'm not sure I actually had that ammo to spare now that I look at it. Yeah, I don't know if I have, um... But where else can I... Where can I go around here to have... I don't know about this, guys. Have I got any other places where I can have some limited safety? Because I don't have an angle on anybody. Okay, I can I can get over here and probably kill some guys. I hope. Unless it turns out you can't get on the canvas tents, in which case I'm fucked. Okay, maybe this wasn't gonna work. It wasn't gonna work out so well after all. And the trading post is under attack again. Okay, get out of there then. Jeez. Oh, there's no ladder up here. This is the wrong one. But there's an awful lot of them. I need to be close to where those other guys are at or I'm not going to be able to fend them off. I don't know if this place is worth saving, but... um. I guess if I want all the Whoppets, I better figure it out. Shit. Ow. Okay, that, that apparently really counted for something extra. Can you guys kill them off? It's hard for me to get to a place where I can shoot at them. Oh, well, never mind. It. I don't know what to do. You're on your own. Yeah, I don't know how you're supposed to shoot them from up here. There's too much shit in the way. That didn't hit him? Yeah, 
Yeah, I can't be wasting a bunch of ammo with this gun either. Although, why am I worried about wasting ammo with a gun that doesn't seem to be very usable? There's so many freaking guys that we gotta kill to get this place cleared out, too. I was hitting the the melee button like a fiend there. It's trying to target him and hit him with that like auto kill one, but I don't know how to get that to work reliably. Sometimes you just get it, and sometimes you just don't. Meanwhile, that trading post—I sure hope it can fight its its way out of trouble on its own because. Uh, I feel like if I keep going back to these places that I've already liberated, I'm never going to proceed in the story. Although this would appear, if I could actually get guys to come over here, if I could get guys to come over here, I might actually have a place from which to attack them. Sniper rifle times 10, okay. It's an orange question mark. For a minute, I thought there was a uh, stranger that was in a, a mission that was in danger of becoming undoable uh, because I let the guy get killed. But I think it's just because there's a bunch of other icons over there interfering. Well, I mean, if we can clear out this village, that'll be two villages in one video. That's not bad. game really does seem to uh, really insist you kill all these zombies. Consider yourself cured. Maple cured and smoked. I'm, search I'm pressing the search corpse button game. Would you search the corpse? Okay. Well, one of those zombies is at a different altitude from me. Apparently it's climbing the ladder or found a hole. Worthless. Yeah, we'll check a corpse before we go deal with this last zombie. You claw at my back, I'll claw at yours. And get some pistol ammo. Which only seems fair. Okay, this zombie's looking for altitude. He's trying to get a big running start to uh, get onto one of those old Eric's. This town has been saved. But the town has been saved, and that's the main thing. If we were to check the map now, we would see that the zombies are reattacking a town that we had previously saved. But I don't think the town will ever be wiped out. I think we can go back and rescue it whenever. And we've gotten the uh, permanent... Uh, we've gotten a new gun from rescuing that camp, so... So I guess what I'm saying is, I got mine. I had my fun, and that's all that matters. And we'll have a restful sleep here out in the open at a place that was recently overrun by zombies. And when we get back up, it'll be getting close to nighttime, which I find much more dangerous because it's so freaking hard to see who's coming up to you and trying to kill you. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. When we come back next time... um more zombies. See you then.